What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Barrows. My previous guide didn't really cover what to do when you were lower level. So, here we are. Back at Barrows. For this guide I would like to show you what the minimal requirements are and the low level setups. While we have the higher level setups in the previous video. So this video will 100% be for lower levels and or Iron Man who are just getting started in Barrows. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and a like. I would very much appreciate it. everything for the algorithm. And let's get into it. So when it comes to gear, this will be the minimum requirements to start doing Barrows. The Ivan stuff, which you need to do underground pass for. It's really essential to start off with this. So if you haven't done underground pass yet, go and do it. Full rune with mystic boots for the magic bonus. I chose for a ring of wealth, but you can go for a ring of dueling to go to Ferox Enclave. A combat bracelet, which is the first out of the three bracelets that I will recommend. It's a combat bracelet, regen bracelet, and then Barrow's gloves. That's not the bracelet, but you get the point. Ardon Cloak 2 Cloak. Whoa, the nice pro nice pronunciation of Cloak. Cloak. There we go. Ardon Cloak 2. 1 is recommended. Amulet of Glory, that is very essential to start. If you're an Iron Man, go for uh, Amulet of Accuracy. Any book, if you don't have a book, then you can keep this slot open. If you want a book like this, you have to do a Horror from the Deep. These books are free, so that's what you get from the quest. Any Blessing, if you're an Iron Man and don't have a Blessing yet, it doesn't matter, you can leave the slot open. That's it for the minimum requirements. When you're in the cave, you will use a Dragon Scimitar with a Rune Kite Shield and a Dragon Dagger for your special attack. Ivan's Blast requires runes, so you bring Death Runes and Fire Runes. If you have a Rune Pouch, bring it. If you not, do it like this. Like I said, this is a minimum guide, so this is the minimum you need. Super Attack, Super Strength and a Restore because they will drain your stats. Stamina Potion, if your agility is not as high yet, you will need it. I think even I need it, so there you go. A few prayer potions, because if you're slow, they will drain your prayer by the seconds that you're in there. So it's very smart to bring at least one, two, or three if you're lower level. A spade and barrow teleports. If you're an Iron Man and you do not have access to the barrow teleport, then you should t teleport to Fairy Ring BIP. And run east and then you will get here it's very 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 easy to get here you can go to Berg the Rot I think but there's that you need Mortania legs for that or you can choose to bring a Morton teleport but that would be a waste in my opinion so with that being said let's run this minimum minimum run let's go throw a little goblin salute in there let's go we're off so what I like to do is start off with Darox, I don't know why, I just do. You want to pray against... Oh no, it's in... okay, he's in here, okay, don't go in there then. Darox will be the last. Then I go to Farrakh. I do that so that I can spec him, but I don't have a... Uh, I don't have claws with me, so it doesn't matter. Pray from melee, you will not protect everything. But most of it. Okay, I assume that you don't have augury, so we'll use Mystic Lore or Mystic Might. He hits through your prayer. Not as much, but he does. Obviously, with my stats, I do still hit a bit higher than probably you will when you're minimum level. Just keep that in mind. Okay, we killed him. Go back up before the timer. Otherwise, they will drain your stats. Now, let's go to Arims, which is the mage. Why is this? Go away. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, yeah, you spec the mage out. Pop. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to drink potions. Oh, man. Such a knob.
and then you will continue to attack. You got a poison, the dragon dagger poison. Let's go. And that is Arims. Now let's go to Torax, switch back to your magic stuff. Dig in. I forgot to mention that if you're um, if you have done let's say winter tot first that's what most people do me included on my iron man you probably will have a tome of fire so if your level is level 50 magic you might want to use that the tome because it's stronger and it saves you an inventory slot with fire runes because you don't need the fire runes Where are we now? Oh, we're at Carol's, okay. Protect from ranged. Just magic, just use magic. Or melee, you can use melee, but it's alright now. As you can see, he can hit hard, so... I was a bit late with the prayer. And there we go, that is arms down. Now we go to Guthans, that is the last brother, before we go in. I'm a bit scared because Darok is in there, and Darok can hit high when you don't, when you don't know where he is. It's very essential to keep your prayer up here because this man will heal. For me, Guthans never heals. For this guy, it always heals for some reason, so make sure to keep it up. And then just start attacking, keep him, keep attacking him. There we go, that is down. Like I said, it's a low level guide, but I'm obviously max combat, so well not max with magic, but you will not hit 20s. Let's let's keep it like that. Accept the fact that you won't hit 20s and you're fine. This guide is perfect for you then. Alright, switch to your dragon scimitar and kite shield. Attack the monsters in here. I usually get the potential to like 85%. I, I don't really, I'm not really bothered by that. If you do want to be more efficient, I do really recommend you watching the other video. I will go through the percentages and what's smarter to do. That link will be in the description and you can also click on it somewhere top right here. It should appear. Just follow the Dragon Scimitar. It is very smart to bring a lockpick as well, but we will be doing that. We will be bringing that with the other build in a minute. Uh, it's over there. Okay, I drink a sip of prayer because I want to keep my prayer up in case he appears somewhere. It will smack you. Okay, so we click on the chest, but then he will appear. There he is. Hello. You cannot save spot him in here, so don't even try. You will always find a way. Just don't let him hit through, especially when he's low level. He will, he will smack you. Oh, my max hit is 25. I didn't know that. All right, and that is Darox. Now we kill this. This. Oh, he's not. <laughs> he's not dead yet. Now he is. 88%. That's about it. What you want? Let's see what we get. We got nothing. All right, time to teleport out. I don't have. I will go over there. I will regain my stats in my house. So. That was it for the minimal level guide. Let me gear up and then we'll go for the low level guide. All right, we are back with the low level gear guide. 
for this one I went for a Nate is not helm, a fury, a rune plate body, swapped out the rune plate legs for a dragon plate legs and a dragon shoes. Went for Barrow's Gloves. If you do not have Barrow's Gloves yet, I will suggest going for either Rune, Adamant or Mithril. And if you still don't have that because you just haven't done Recipe for Disaster or haven't started it, then stick with the Combat Bracelet. I went for an Avis Device. Went for a Rune Arrows because we will be using range for this one. And the Iron Stuff will be the same together with the book. When it comes to your inventory, we will be bringing blue dehyde and a magic short bow to shoot at Arams. I didn't do it in this low level guide. Yeah, this is a voiceover because my microphone was muted. I forgot to do that, but at the medium at the low at the medium level I will do it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You have to shoot with range at Arams. I did bring a lockpick as well, as said earlier because that will just reduce the time or how annoying it is that one of those monsters will hit you when you just try to open the door you just use the lockpick at the door and you're fine Dragon Scimitar, a Runkai shield and the Dragon Dagger will remain the same as will anything else in your inventory there's not much to be said right now so how about you just enjoy a few kills of the Barrows Brothers, well just one KC but killing all six of them with a little bit of OSRS beats. Link will be in the description for old school RuneScape beats because this, this man is fantastic with his music and you should all listen to it. I will of course leave time slots, time thingies in the description to, you know, get you to the next one because we will be doing a medium level guide as well so just click on it if you don't want to watch
right, that was that for the um, low level guide. Let's, uh, let, you know, we got a little medium combat task completed. Because I never do barrows. But, um, yeah, let's get to the medium level guide. See you in a minute. Alright, guys, this is where you will be seeing the biggest amount of changes. As you can see, the dragon boots, the barrows gloves, the avas accumulator. Well, it's, a, it's an assembler for me. The native snot helm and the ring will remain the same, so will the book. But the biggest upgrade is the occult necklace because it gives you a 10% extra damage boost. We also went for a Torx plate body to be a bit tankier, and Varax plate skirts to have a nice combination of DPS, tankiness, and prayer. Also, we bring a red D high body instead. As said, I forgot to, to range in the previous one, so we will range Arams this time. Also, for in the cave, we will be using a ten, not a tentacle whip. We will be using a abyssal whip and a dragon defender. But I already have an Averted Defender and I don't have Rune Defender, so I couldn't really get it quickly. So yeah, that's it. The rest of the inventory will remain the same, except the runes, because we got a Trident of the Swamp this time. And that's just so much better. It costs a little bit of money, but there you go. If you don't have it yet, go for a Trident of the Seas, or stick with the Ivan stuff, because that is totally fine as well.
All right, guys, that is the end of this guide. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope this one was more helpful than the previous one because it is dedicated to the low levels slash Iron Man people. I hope you guys enjoyed. Really, I do. See you later.